Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today we are reviewing the new Becca products. I'm gonna give Becca a try, okay? Becca been really disappointing me for the last year. Hopefully that I like it. So Becca have a few products that is new out right now and I bought the light shifter. This is it here. This is a dewy formula. Girl, look at the size of this. This is a one fluid ounce and this is the Becca shifter. Okay, it's like a moisturizer. Remember I told you guys in my last video, we're gonna be seeing a lot of tinted moisturizer. Here we go. This is 30 bucks. Why, 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 why? 30 bucks, you believe this? Also, I picked up the shifter setting powder. This is 5.5 and the, the finishing veil, which is like a, you know, a powder. This is number five. And I was looking at this and this is so light. I don't even sure like this is going to work for me, but I don't remember how many shades they have online. So we're going to check that out in a few. The last time I tried a Becca products, I think was a zero pigment foundation where they just give a, give us a, like a water-based primer and be like okay girl you could keep that so the light shifter do we tint tinted moisturizer we have eight shades <laughs> the darkest shade is 6.5 which is luna the one that i picked up is 5.5 so i pick up 5.5 because it has a dark and neutral undertone okay and the 6.5 is a cool undertone so i know that is not gonna work for me so the becca light shifter dewy tint is a sheer tinted moisturizer that illuminates skin with an ultra dewy finish and moisturize so this has vitamin e and it also has anti-pollution protection and blue light protection it's also lightweight and it instantly moisturizing okay okay so let's just see about the shifting finishing veil now this is it here I like the packaging really cute this retail for $34 the moisturizer is 30 and I got the shade number five which is the second darkest I'm gonna be using Huda Beauty primer I do like the packaging, but come on, Becca. $30 for this. It's just so small for the price. This is just crazy. All right, so I'm going to put a few dots here. I'm going to go in with this brush from Eat Cosmetics. So just going to see if this shade is working for me. I'm gonna take a little bit honestly if you keep using this it's gonna be done in a few days like there's not enough in there the smell is just ooh, so strong oh this is dewy girl this is definitely dewy okay It looks glowy. I like the finish. It looks really glowy. And I just don't like the smell. The smell is terrible. It goes on really nice. I still think like it's a little dark for me. So this is a side with no foundation and this is a side with foundation. Now it's not meant to give you, like I said, it's not meant to give you like a full coverage or anything. So I am going to see a few of my spots there, but when you use foundation that is going to be covered. So it's not something that I'm worried about. Now I really want to give this a wear test. I had to do some errands today, but I just don't like wearing masks with foundation. I did that a few days ago and I had to do the video all over because the mask just rubbed off all of my foundation and I'm not doing it today. So I just gonna probably do my stuff tomorrow. Honestly, it's a good finish foundation, but with the shade again, this is too dark for me. And then, like I said in the beginning, this is the second darkest, okay? It's very dewy, but 
I just don't get it with the shades of all these companies just coming out with five shades, eight shades, 12 shades. Like, can you bring out a variety of tinted moisturizer so everyone has a shade? The shade went on very good, but it does oxidize a little bit, I could tell. Like, my face is dark, okay? So I'm gonna lighten it up. Oh, girl. I have to do this every time I use a foundation. That is crazy i'm gonna go in with my light concealer this is number 13 from Juvia's place i don't have any products from uh, from becca like that and i just have the highlight because the highlighters are really really good i think they are trying to get this stuff together but i just think that becca they're not getting it right concealer on top of my lid as well since I'm doing this step this one I like to use from elf and this is the deep cinnamon concealer I really do like this for my eye base because it is close to my skin tone I'm gonna be using this powder Laura Mercier as always and so this been on my face for an hour and 20 minutes okay and this is what everything looks like so we're gonna talk about the foundation so far it's very dewy it's a really nice tinted moisturizer but the shade is just not working for me so and I didn't put any powder yet so I want to put the powder on so you guys can see so this one is number five as well so this is also a light shifter so it's basically supposed to give you like a light finish this is supposed to be weightless setting powder with a filtering effect and a satin finish so let's just see if this is gonna like diffuse the darkness that I have it's a little bit on the brush so it's gonna be like really light it's like you really can't see it since the foundation is dark and it's dewy hopefully that I see something different I could see it let's see if I could bring this down here I want to see the color can't really see the color on my face because my face is pretty dark because of the foundation in the beginning my face was very dewy so I could tell like the powder is settling into the skin like you really can't see it but it's there because it's a very lightweight powder okay but I want to see the color on my neck so I'm gonna bring this down a little bit I'm gonna try this out in another video because I just feel like the foundation itself is just like really dark I'm not really seeing the beauty of the powder. I'm gonna put some blush on. I'm gonna use this blush from Menti Cosmetics So I'm gonna go back again in this powder and let's just see if if it diffuse the blush a little bit Okay, it's not that bad it's not that bad I know it's there but the palette that I use is from Juvia's place that's the Vanessa palette I've been trying to create more looks with it and I really do like this palette so let's just line the list I'm just gonna go in with lady from Juvia's place I really do like this lipstick It just looks so good with this liner. This is the final look, guys. I actually like both of these products, but I just think that this is is overpriced. This is $30, and I didn't really know that this was so small. Wait a minute, I paid $30 for this? <laughs> this is really small for the price. But the thing is that it gives really nice coverage. This is not for oily skin. It's really dewy. I really do like the fact that it's dewy, but I just think that this is too dark. 
we still have some sun coming in and I could see the beauty of this foundation, but it's still too dark. I had this on for an hour and a half. I really wanted to give it some time before I put the powder on. It's just not working for me, pretending the undertone. In the beginning, it looked really nice and flawless, but it looks, it definitely oxidized after a few hours, but I do like it. I like the coverage. It's a tinted moisturizer. I don't really care for the coverage, girl, because if I have to wear this outside, I'm gonna have to wear a mask and I know that the mask is gonna take it out I'm not about that life so you will never see me wearing foundation and have a mask on I just can't it gives a nice medium coverage this is not for that okay it's just to give you a nice glow a nice finish also don't forget to subscribe to this channel don't forget to hit the notification bell guys it's very important that you guys hit that notification bell let me know in the comments below what you guys think about this look girl and I also want to know what you guys think about this tinted moisturizer let me know what you guys think about the shade. Do you think I should keep it or just return it? Let me know. I would like to hear what you guys have to say. Thank you guys so much. See you guys in my next video. Bye guys.